All right. We're back in this bitch. And it's uh, language. Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Part 7. Like I said at the end of last part, that this is a Pokeball. And yes, I'm a nerd. Sam got it wrong. I know that for a fact. You got it wrong. You're not That's a, a great ball. You know why? Why? Because you got to go big or go home. So, oh. High hopes, low expectations. You did say, I remember you did say uh, you wanted to be a master ball. And you're like, why well, didn't have more master balls in the game? No, I didn't say that you at all. You didn't say that? Oh. I didn't say that. That was you. You put a master ball in every... Didn't you put a master ball in every city in no, I put Pokemon a, Emerald? No, I put a lucky egg in my Pokemon Emerald pack in every city. And a rare candy. Because I feel like uh, it's going to be really hard to beat level 100 gym leaders and uh, the final boss if you're not also level 100. I beat it with just a level 100 Jolteon. I feel that's a fault in my uh, gaming development skill. If I didn't make it like... I don't feel like you should be able to do that. To sweep with a Jolteon. I didn't sweep with the Jolteon. That's all you... We didn't... You did. I pretty much swept with the yeah, Jolteon. Yeah, you did. You did. I wish we were recording that. But the, those study hall conversations were a bit too raunchy for YouTube. What? No such thing. We, what, what were we talking about that was so bad? Uh, ISIS beheadings. We were watching them. We were watching them. <laughs> me, you were watching me them. Me and Elijah, we really tough through. Elijah took it like a champ, didn't even react. I was a softy because I watched three men get their life, their life sucked from their body. So, you ever seen something die like in person? Like a mammal? Yeah, a dog. I was uh, driving from San Antonio. When no, was, don't tell me the story. I don't want to hear no, about no, it. No, 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 no. You're getting it. Um, so we, we brought our dog to San Antonio. Yeah, you close your eyes. I mean, your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Uh, so anyway, I brought the... Uh, we brought... It was me, my mom, my grandparents, my sister. We brought the dog to San Antonio. Uh, we kept the dog outside our uncle's house for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, it, you hate it? Yeah, because they... I don't know. This it's not my dog. It's not my dog. It's my grandparents' dog. So, anyways, you know how uh, in Texas it gets. It's a desert, so it gets really cold that night. Yes. Um. So it was like almost zero, because we were going in like you know, around winter, I think. And uh, we were there about four days. We get it. It just it looks like really sad. It's moving slowly. Um. Because you left out in the freaking cold for four days. Not only that. Animal so, abusers. Well, we might think. Uh, my mom might have brought up that it might have been bit by a snake because you know snakes are everywhere in sandy places so yeah when, that's even worse yeah um so we were driving back we had the we had like a an suv when the, in the back we had the dog just laying there um and it was it was still alive it was still breathing all fine we were just slow like lethargic and um it just it was an eight hour trip eight or nine hour trip and we got 30 minutes before we got to the house, it was just sitting back there, nothing, no movement, n couldn't hear it breathing. Um, we get there, pull up in the driveway, open up the back. It is voided its bowels, um, and it's like drooling, and it's dead, like dead, dead. Um, and we just, my grandfather got the body, got it in the bag, put it in the garbage can. Next month, got it in a Rottweiler. Like, you can't. Like why? You get they like they cycle dogs in and out. Did like, he really just throw it in the trash can? I think so. That's I mean disappointing. It is disappointing, but what would you do? I guess bury it. Bury it. He might have buried. It. I don't remember. I remember that definitely put it in a bag though. Um, yeah, that was kind of well, burying it in a plastic bag is <laughs> significantly worse than. Um, anyways, that's my uh my dead dog story, and uh, right now. We're doing pretty good at Rogan and Travolta. They're dominating this gym because it's rock type. And they're using only Geodude for now, which is rock and ground. So we're quad effective against it. Um, next up, we are going against Roxana, gym leader. Um, I just hated the nose pass. Yeah, because it's like sturdy as hell. Oh, Rogan is evolving. Woo! Um, so Mark's back. So WrestleMania was last week. Yes. How do you feel about that? I didn't watch it yet. I haven't had time. You haven't paid attention to the news about it? What, what, like Jeff Hardy came back, uh, Gronkowski was there. What What else do I need to know? The thing about uh, The oh, Undertaker. Oh, yeah, he retired? What about him? 
I don't know. I thought you would care about who beat him. Roman Reigns? He beat him? I think so. Yeah. I People were upset because it was a young guy. Yeah, people like throughout the past three years do not do not like Roman Reigns because he seems like he's just another like super uh, super character, basically John Cena, but he has none of the charisma of a John Cena. So that doesn't sound good. Yeah, so he just beats everyone up and just doesn't. He's not a likable character, and he's not like he's not he's hateable for the wrong reasons. Yeah, he's, he, we shouldn't hate a character because he's written poorly. Yeah, we should. Like we sh- that shouldn't be the reason why we hate. we should hate him because he's doing like uh bad things to the people that we do like. He's doing that too. I disagree with that. For real? Yeah. The Joker, very well written character most of the time. He does terrible things. He gasses children. He's like Assad. He he launches nerve toxins at children. Okay. And I love the man. Pause that for a second. I explain this. This <laughs> Geo dude has rock throw, rock tomb, defense curl. And another move, and it has the ability uh, Rockhead, so it doesn't take recoil damage, but it has no recoil moves. They have two Geo dudes. The next, uh, the last Pokemon is Nose Pass with Block, Rock Tomb, and Rock Slide, and some third move that doesn't, some fourth move that doesn't matter. It has the ability Sturdy or oh, Squirrel. Anyway, y'all can't see, but anyway, uh, Nose Pass I think has uh, maybe an item, and also Roxanne has one a potion. So watch out for that. Anyways, the four store. No, it's a potion at this point. Okay. And my hack was a full restore because I'm a douchebag. <laughs> right, because you're a dick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so go back to your story about gas and children. Um, you talk about characters that are poorly written, but mm-hmm. we should hate them because they do bad things, not because they're poorly written. A well-written character can do the worst things and still come out as charismatic or sympathetic or good. Yeah, they can. I like, like character. In wrestling, like Randy Orton, when the... When the like a couple years ago. Oh, well, you're just talking about specifically wrestling and not well, that's, narratives in general? I mean, I know more about wrestling than narratives in general. So, I, I mean, that's what I'm going to speak on. And and Randy Orton was like one of the the best uh, bad guys there ever was in wrestling. He was like uh, kicking people in the head, old people in the head, uh, just like doing this, the most uh, chicken shit things, uh, pushing down pregnant women. That might have been Kane you do uh, but he was doing like a lot of bad stuff and I like I, I legitimately like I liked him most people didn't like him as like a character I, I just like bad guys in general and like he was very well written and he just did like he did unexpectedly bad things I can't like give you an example because it's been so long but he was just a bastard and you people wanted to see him lose and like um if Roman Reigns went and got went against a guy that people legitimately hated that would also help him like be more well liked and that's another point that people bring up, like putting him up against the Undertaker that everyone loves and is a freaking legend. That doesn't help his case at all. And then he went up against a WrestleMania, last WrestleMania against Triple H, and everyone loved Triple H back then too. They were for that. Went against Brock Lesnar. Uh, uh, he almost beat him, but at the last minute, um, before like before the show started, they like we gotta change this finish to make him lose um, via some like shenanigans. So because. You beat Brock Lesnar like you're a super like you're the best character in the, in the whole game. I mean the really? whole story, yeah. Brock Lesnar is all that. Yeah, like all his stuff is like he's uh, 100 overall. I don't know if that's like in 2K, but like in the story he is. Good for him. Yeah. He deserves a win after sucking at football. You know what? I watched those highlights. He does not. There's if I put him. He couldn't make the Minnesota Vikings in the mid 2000s. Yeah, I feel like he should though. You could teach him, like I know, could teach him. Not, not yeah. you. I mean, maybe. Do you know stuff about a uh, bull rush? And how yeah, to, sure. And, uh, don't bend at the waist and stuff like that. Yeah, I played Madden. <laughs> yeah, right? all you gotta that's... do is just push uh, RT. You just gotta, you know, hit hit X. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Uh, dive at the knees, of course. Um, dive at the head. Oh yes, uh, crown of the helmet first. Crown of the helmet <laughs> at the back of the knee. Yeah. Uh, when I feel like in draft, in the NFL draft, they always go, like, if it's not, like, a sure thing guy, like, this year's Miles Garrett at defensive end. Mm-hmm. If it's not, like, a sure a thing like that, they'll go with a guy with a high ceiling. And what high ceiling basically means to them is a guy that's really athletic and will just, he can't, he can't play a, a lick of. He can't of, play yet. He can't play a lick of football, but he's super athletic, so we're going to teach him everything. I think Brock Lesnar could have been that. Like. Possibly. They signed him like a couple months before he played in the 
not even a couple months, like maybe a month before the preseason. Then he played like two preseason preseason games and like, oh, we're gonna cut him now. Um, I felt like that wasn't fair. Um, but you know, life's not fair. He probably. You're right. Life isn't fair. Anyways, uh, let's go back to the game. We just beat Roxanne. We got to move Rock Tomb to you know, 30, I think. It's a pretty decent move. I wouldn't teach any of my Pokemon, though, because this is uh, lower speed, and it's a Rock-type move. Rock-type is not a good offensive type. It's good against uh, types that are just have so many weaknesses anyway, like Fire and Bug. You probably have a Water-type or a Fire-type on your team to combat those things. <clears throat> got gas. Mouth gas. Anyways, you guys just saw... Um, some dude, Team Aqua, stole some goods, some D-Bond goods, and went to the Rust Turf Tunnel, which we went to the Rust Turf Tunnel too early. I remember that too. Yeah, and it was all Mark's fault. Um, I mean, it was a good thing. We ended up battling a lot of trainers and grinding up. So, anyways. Uh, so, that's where we're going now. Uh, all, it's pretty simple. He has like one level eight Pushiana. So it's the same guy from um, the Petalburg Forest, and he actually grew a little bit. Um, and then after you beat him, you go back out the cave. You talk to an old guy. You give back his Wingo because he also took somebody's Wingo. And that guy will allow you to take uh, a ship to go to Duford and, Duford, and then after Duford, go to Slateport, which we will not get to in this part, but be definitely in the next part. Um... And then after that, you go back, get the goods, give it to that guy, and he will give you a great ball, uh, as you will see eventually. And then after that, you uh, get a Pokenav, and we will explain that when we cross that bridge. Which uh, we're getting cut? Oh, yes, we're getting cut from the cut master. Um, oh, yeah. And this is where I teach Mark that you can cut the grass. Oh, yes. Uh, well, I knew they cut the grass. I didn't know you could do that in this game. Or, no, it was a... You could do it multiple blades at a time. So you get in the middle, you can cut like a whole chunk. So right, I thought like I thought just one. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool mechanic. If you're a broke boy, you don't have a, a lot of pokey in. You can you don't have to spend on repels. So you just use cut. It's really cool. Yeah, save your repels for the caves. And then I, I tried that um that cut thing in like the modern games. It doesn't work. They take it out. It sucks. Mm. I'm still having a tough time getting through Pokemon Moon. I'll tell you what, the game is busting my balls. Um, and not in a good way. Some yeah. people like that. Just saying. Um, Clients and vices. Oh, speaking of, like, really odd uh, stuff that gets you off. Um, <laughs> I was in math class yesterday. I had a substitute, so we had, like, free time. Math gets you off? No, it did not. It does the opposite. I go limp. It goes inside of me when I take do math. Anyways, uh, I was with High and Sage. Shout out to High and Sage. They watched the stream the other day. Uh, Sage didn't participate. I have a vengeance against you. Um, but High was there, and that was pretty good. Anyway, we were there in math class watching d really dumb YouTube videos. I lost about half of my brain watching those YouTube videos. But uh, he uh, brought up something called Cake Farts. Have you heard of this? Cake Farts? Yeah. Probably have. Probably repressed it. Um, well, I'm about to bring it back. Uh, cake farts is a type, uh, I don't know if you call it porn, um, but a, a person that you find attractive uh, passes gas on a cake, um, and then you eat it. I don't know what you file it under. I would just call it weird as hell. But um, yeah, the thumbnails and Google images showed me a lot. I don't want to watch a video of it. Anyways, what are you reading? Uh, Dylan, sent me, Dylan sent me a message. About what? Syria. Yeah. What's the update? I don't know. I just sent him a video of... It was like, oh, here's proof that the military did it. And I'm like, oh, Dylan, hey, does this... How, like, are, how are you gonna how are you gonna refute this? Because you don't think the military actually did launch the chemical weapons in Syria. The Syrian military, not... Yeah, Syrian military. Okay. He said the U.S. is just making it up. Because they have a history of making it up. But he's ignoring the history of Assad using chemical weapons. Yeah. Mm. After admitting that there's a history of Assad using chemical weapons. Mm -hmm. The man's just so contradictory. He only acknowledges history and precedence when it suits him. And that's never... That's mm. never a good thing to do. I wonder how, like... How he sleeps at night? That. That's, like, this is basically the thrust I'm getting at. Like, how do you think like yeah, that? It's, it's rough. 
Um, I just, I don't know. That seems so odd to me. I, I, his ideas are so foreign. Like, I believe in the, the total opposite of what he believes. I want super lazy fair capitalism. I'm basically a libertarian. This guy's talking about freaking communism. Like, yeah. I just, it doesn't work for one. I mean, He's mine, incredibly far left and not in a fun way. I mean, mine doesn't work. Like, like no government regulated uh, capitalism doesn't work. But it works more than freaking communism. Like, come on. I mean, mine caused the Gilded Age. Yours caused the many wars. Yeah. Uh, anyways, now we have cut. We can get in a uh, secret path and fight like four, uh, four trainers. Get a couple of double battles in, and then get some berries. Um, we don't pick the berries. Yeah, even though we should, we, we're gonna start doing that. You told me not to. Yeah, cause I, I, I just thought they were useless, but they're actually like, pretty useful. When we... Yeah, that saved our Travolta. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Remember when we did the movie reviews? Yeah, I those mean, were the days. <laughs> uh, we've already been doing this so long that we have become jaded, <laughs> and now yeah. we're looking back on the the glory days. Glory holes too. Oh no, <laughs> I I could never be that desperate. I put my I put my dipstick in a in a wall and let just some random. I don't know if it's guy girl. I don't know if it's clean. I don't know if you got an STD or not. I don't know what it is. I'm just. The answer is no. Yeah, the answer is <laughs> the no. The answer is no. But it's people are doing it. People are doing it. It's really sad. I wouldn't do it if I were like the first person ever, and like I saw them make it. You know, <laughs> if I had every guarantee that it would be the cleanest, safest experience, I still clean. wouldn't do it. There's nothing clean on putting your still. dick in a wall. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, but this also brings another good question that I talk. That I talk uh, about with my friends, my black friends a lot. Um, Why you gotta be black? Cause I don't talk about it with my white friends. You have white friends, plural. Yeah. Oh, cool. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm good. struggling, struggling to think of, about them. Uh, it's just Silas, and it's not even Silas, is it? It's not I, even Silas. I was gonna put my eyebrows up to that one. Anyways, I was talking about uh, running a train. Like nope, all the logistics that go into that. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, and also, where are you going? Where are you going? Stay, gonna stay, down, stay down, stay down. Okay. Um, so he's holding me hostage. I'm blinking twice for kidnapped. Um, too bad we don't have the webcam on for you because you're going to read the statement. <laughs> How about no? Um, we got about four minutes left, so we really can't get into deep uh, train discussion. Ah, uh, we can. <laughs> we shouldn't. But my dad told me a train story, so I'll give you that. How about no? He wasn't in the train, so just don't worry about that. So he, back when he was in college, he was on a football scholarship. He lived in like in the football dorms, yeah. which were terrible. I can tell you all terrible stuff about that. It's outside of sexual stuff. But um, so a girl was there, and here, uh, it's kind of blurry now, but basically it was like a couple hours before practice, and all, like a lot, like half the team was in there running the train. And he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to practice early. And then, like, and then it's like 20 dudes. Like, why would you want that? As a, as a woman, like, what's the woman's mindset? She's getting pleasure. Yeah, but don't you get, like... Tired? Like, tired and hurt? Like, sex is not a painless in, uh, endeavor. It should be mostly painless. Yeah, but You're doing it right. 20 people. 20... Uh, yeah, I'm not saying it's... I'm not saying, you know, 20 people is a normal thing that you should be doing all the time, but... And like, they're not just doing, like, straight-up stuff. They're doing butt stuff. They're doing mouth stuff, I'm pretty sure. And that's not that's not pleasurable. This is the dumbest conversation <laughs> I think we've ever had. I'm sorry. Uh, you got something better? No. No, I don't. Oh, I don't. thanks. Thanks. We need people like you in this world. They just point out the problems and don't have a solution. Yeah. Anyway, we got a letter from the head of the Devon Corporation. Corporation. Uh, Corporation. Sorry. Um, English is not his first language. It's, it's not. It's really not. It's Ebonics. It's my first language. I was going to say baby talk, but. Um, I don't really talk much as a baby. I don't really don't you talk. You make noises. You communicate. My mom always tells me I just 
I was sat in my room and played with my toy train. Anyway. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to comment. Anyways, uh, the, Mr. Stone is head of this company. They deal with technology, and they really like a minor part in this game. They really don't do much after this. Um, he gives you a letter to be sent to, I guess that's his son, Stephen Stone, um, or grandson, I don't know. Uh, give him a letter in Dufour Town. Now that we have access to that ship, we can go there pretty easily. Um, give him the letter, and then uh, he goes back, and that's the end of the side quest. He also gives us a Pokenav, um, which has a map, also can keep track of your Pokemon's condition, not like their health and stuff, like uh, their Pokemon contest stats, basically. And we may or may not get in that later. It's pretty complicated, and you need, at this point, you're going to need about, I don't know, five playthroughs of emerald ruby and or sapphire to get uh, the optimal stats which i did and i don't regret um but i'm i'm a pretty big pokemon fanatic anyway a pokemon pokemon can also be used to call certain trainers and people of interest like mr stone himself or your mother or your mother your father and every you should gym leader. call your mother more um no you shouldn't in this game she does not save your money which is a good or a bad thing, because she doesn't like any other game. She would spend money on stuff. She'd only spend like ten yen. Um, but later in the game, as you get more money, she would start to buy like exclusive items only that she can buy out of her like I don't know, a catalog. I guess I don't know what. She's got special. She's got a mom badge that takes her to a secret floor in the. Oh yeah, in the department store. Yeah. So like they got the department store in Goldenrod with all like the little machokes underground. She gets to go below that as well. Uh, underground yeah i love to be six feet under right now <laughs> <laughs> anyways that's about the end of the part in the next part we have a rival battle with with my with the beautiful may um is that your is that your kink oh wait no no, no not beautiful um she's cute oh, no no she's a uh, not attractive because she's 10 she's not attractive i'm not sexually attractive hey did I Google her up? They're cartoons. Did I Google her up? Google They're just images? just cartoons, man. Yeah. I mean. Age don't matter. Anyways, let's see you later. <laughs> see you. Fictional. Somebody's getting it somebody.